Hello, this is Yumami Craft, and today I'm going to carry on um, the Redstone tutorial series. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing off solid and non-solid blocks. Um, so I'm going to start off um, with using repeaters because with using repeaters you can distinguish between solid and non-solid blocks. Um, so basically, if you have uh, a power source going into a repeater and then the repeater carry and go in and then the, obviously that will get powered um, but there are two there are two other ways of getting power through or there are two ways of getting power through blocks um, num number one which is the easiest to understand is um, you have power going into a repeater and then the repeater pushes the power through the block pushes the power through the block and then can be taken out the other side. Uh, the second way is the power can be sent into a block, then pulled out f with a repeater, so that this repeater pulls out the block and this repeater like push it into the block basically. Uh, what you cannot do is have it like that. That will not work. You need to, I I need the repeater at the front like that one, or at the back to pull it out. And uh, now the way to use this to distinguish between solid and non-solid blocks is if I change this block now to something which is non-solid, for example glass, the power will not go through. So if you're wondering whether a block is non-solid or solid, a um, very simple test, use this configuration and place a block in front of it. Um, now, uh, one of the most obvious uh, non-solid blocks is a sign. Um, this is most obvious because you can also walk through it as well as um, it being smaller. Um, but the signs, basically, a non-solid block is like the same as a glass block. Um, so this is also another way of testing and uh, see if the block is uh, block is solid or non-solid. Okay, so this is um, so. Uh, another non-solid block is a piston. Oh no, actually, sorry. Um, before I get onto that, I'll show you this configuration. Which is also another way of finding out whether a block is solid or non-solid. So if I have this going down here, and I place a solid block like that, it will cut off. So it will stop the redstone wire going from here to connect to there, to connect from there to there to carry on going. But if I place a non-solid block, for example, glass, um, it, the redstone will have no problem whatsoever from going underneath it and carry on going. Um, so that is another way of distinguishing between solid or non-solid blocks. And using this, you can um, get quite, you can uh, very um, clever designs. For example, this. And like I was just saying. Pistons are a non-solid block, so redstone can go underneath it. Uh, and exploiting this feature, you can have a, a lane like the. Uh, we can have pistons lined up uh, with a in a one block, which are one block wide, and have them all powered um, from this single torch. And they are all instantly powered. Uh, no use repeaters, one block wide, I may I stress again, which is very compact. And it simply goes down and up. So this block, so this red some wire is powering this and this at both times. So you both you gain power on both your pistons. You get power on all the pistons. Um but that will still only last for fifteen blocks, e.g. this isn't powered. Um this can easily be fixed um by placing a repeater there. And then you could have this going for another 15 blocks. So this is a very compact way of having pistons if you want them in this configuration. Um, just as an example. Um, now another feature with solid, uh, with non-solid blocks, um, for for example, glass, is that you can still breathe in them without getting damaged. Now, for some reason, this world is mucked up, and it thinks it's in a survival. It thinks it's in survival mode, when actually I'm um, obviously in creative. Um, so I can't actually show you that this isn't giving me damage. Um, if I just quickly go to sleep, because like I said, it thinks I'm in survival mode, and I can't use any settings.
So yeah, so by here I have two glass uh, uh, with a piston behind it. If I press this, then I'm inside the glass now. Now if I was in survival mode, like I am now, um, like creative mode, I will not be taking any damage at all. So if you get pushed inside a non-solid block, you will not take any damage. But say, for instance, I was in survival mode now, and I did that, now I would be taking damage because stone is a solid block. Um, now, there is a strange thing you can do. Um, a glowstone is a non-solid block, um, but yet it is not transparent at all. Um, so I can push this, uh, and I can actually see um, something I built previously on a redstone. Um, and you can you can do cave finding with this, um, and it's all in the vanilla vanilla Minecraft. Um, now, like I showed by there, there were, like I showed by these two places, there are ways of detecting that there's a non that there's a solid or non-solid block. Um, another way of testing this, I'll just show quickly, um, is if I place solid block by here, the torch will power this block and send it along um, but if I put a non-solid block the torch will not power the block and therefore will not carry on going and um, over this little configuration it is very messy at the moment I do apologize basically um, around here I have uh, a clock basically a circle so if I just fill these in it'll be more obvious so this by you is a ring I need those three gaps so I can um, do it correctly. But basically, this signal is going down here, but it's being stopped by the stone, which I just removed. Uh, and then this wire then powers this block by here. So if I just change this along. So I got this button hooked up so it'll push the pistons along one, like that. And as you see, the pistons stay down. Now if I do it again, it will alternate to the glass block and the glass block does not stop the current going and it will push the piston up um, so this is a very very compact way of um, storing memory uh, and this is now becoming a very common sight in a lot of computers so as you see this glass will carry on cycling around until it's just that, and then the piston will go up. And then you keep doing this as many times as you want. You could have it bigger, you could have it shorter. Um, but it's just an example of how you can use solid non-solid blocks. Now, there's kind of exceptions to the solid slash non-solid blocks. Um, with all solid blocks, you can place res on top of it, like I have the stone. Um, but on non-solid blocks, you cannot place uh, redstone. Now there is two exceptions to this rule, uh, and that is glowstone and upside down half slabs. Now with both upside down half slabs and glowstone, they have features from both solid and non-solid blocks. Um, the features being that you cannot pump redstone through them, but you can place redstone on top of them. Now using this uh, you can exploit kind of like a bug um, where the where it will not stop where yeah with like as like a non-solid block it will not stop the current um, the wires going up even though it looks like they're not connecting these two are actually connected and then these two are actually connected so it won't actually stop the connection from going and also you can place reds on top of them so if I were to stand on here now uh, those two torches would light up, I just check something on here you'll see it's more obvious with I've said on half slabs but the current is not stopped by them and it can go diagonally all the way up to the top you, uh, and that's classed as vertical redstone um, so those are kind of bugs um, but they are in the game pretty much officially um, so exploit them while you can uh, my advice now there is a strange feature 
and um, with both with both the episode and a half slabs, I believe, and the torches and and, and the um, episode and a half slabs and the glowstone. Sorry, is that it will the signal will not go down. And uh, it may look a bit obvious for this, but with glowstone, it's a lot more. It's like it's easy to see. The signal goes along here, but it shall, it will not go down. Um, but it will go up. So this is a uh, quite an obvious bug. Um, it doesn't look like it could be used at all. Um, but it can be quite handy. Um, with like one way of wiring, um, without the use of um, I think, uh, repeaters. Yeah, without the use of repeaters, and um, one way wiring, one way wiring can be achieved. So. The uh, signal can go up here, but it cannot go back down. So if you want to have one-way wiring and you want to have it quite, um, quite fast, and you want to try and limit the amount of um, repeaters you use, which is, um, which is quite obvious if you're trying to make a computer or something, you may want to use this to make one-way wiring uh, without the one tick delay of a repeater. Um, so I think I managed to cover everything with non-solid and solid blocks. Um, if there's something I missed, please leave a comment in the description. Um, I apologize for um, this episode not coming out sooner. I have been uh, playing a survival map with my friends. And I may actually um, continue this series on the survival because we are getting um, extremely like far in Minecraft. Um, so yeah, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please support T Haven. If you do not know what T Haven is, please check out the channel. The video will be on the main channel, explaining what it is. Um, please stay tuned for more of the Redstone series. It will be coming along. I am not 100% sure what I will be doing next, but there are a, a lot more series I am going to be doing on Redstone because there is just so much to cover. Um, so thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and goodbye.